Hello and welcome to this course on Terraform. My name is Sijish and this video I will show you how if else or conditional statement works in Terraform. So first let's create a directory. Uh, so I'm writing a module. So I have to use hyphen p flag. So I just created a directory modules eip. So I'm going to create an elastic ip based on some condition not down the path. Okay, so this we will be using in our main script. So first create the main script main.tf. So this is inside the module. So I need not to write uh, that provider section. So I'm writing a variable uh, create underscore EIP. Okay, so this can be either true or false. So I'm just writing a description here, not adding any default value for this and uh, uh, this can be either true or false if it is true then it will create that resource and if it's false so it won't create the resource so create underscore eip is the variable so next come to the resource section and it's a aws underscore eip elastic ip and give some name so here i'm writing web eip and uh, opening the brace and inside I need to write so I'm writing the count so count is the number of resources and this count I am getting from uh, this variable create EIP so and I'm comparing this with true if create EIP is true then the value is 1 else value is 0 so open and close the braces and add or prefix dollar before that so this is a conditional statement so it will check if the variable is true then the value for this entire statement will be one so else value will be zero so basically the count can be either zero or one based on the value of create eip and Okay, so now we will go to uh, one directory up and uh, create our main uh, scripts. So for this, uh, let's uh, create a directory first. Okay, so I'm just going to create another directory for our uh, main scripts. It's a main dot main and under main. So create main dot tf. So which is our Terraform script. So in this script, I need to add the provider section. So provider is AWS and so within the brace, I need to add the details. So we will add that details and then we will uh, use the concept of module and uh, write some name. Okay. So AWS EIP, whatever the name you can use, open the brace and write the source directory source directory is the directory where we kept our module files so this is the directory and add some variable or assign value to some variable here like create eip so that is assigning as true and under provider section so we need to add that aws uh, details so this is same as that we have added earlier so AWS key, secret key and the default region. So let me open one more session and do some testing here. So once we are in, so go to the same directory. So it's a demo 12. So go inside that directory using CD command. And then uh, go to the modules and EIP. So you can see our main script. So this is the main script and uh, this is the module file which is on the right side and based on create eip value okay so that is the value we are passing along with the while we call the module so that is true means so if that is true the count will become one okay so it's a create eip some type was there we need to correct that and if that value is true then count will be one and if that value is uh, false or some other value then uh, the count will become zero go ahead and save this 
changes and uh, just to do terraform in it so this will do the initialization so basically it will download all the plugins needed for our provider so once it's done you can see a directory with the dot terraform created and some files inside that and it takes some time so that depends on our internet bandwidth so let's give some time to download this file and complete terraform initialization so now it's uh, done so once it, this is once you got uh, again you can validate this you see terraform validate and now use a terraform plan so terraform plan will uh, give you a list of uh, changes that is going to make and here you can see one to add so it's uh, going to add one eip that is the reason you can see the plan one to add now if i change that main script and uh, change that create eip to false and uh, then do terraform plan so you can see nothing will be there so just wait some time so no changes that is so no resources as going to make so let's uh, change it back to true then uh, save it uh, then we can uh, see this okay the, now the count value will be one so once uh, we are done you can just use terraform apply so this will do the actual deployment so will take some time so once prompted go ahead and press yes and then confirm so this is going to create an eip you can see apply is completed and resources added so we can go back to aws console and see that elastic ip has created and uh, this id and all you can compare and uh, see that is the same that we have that is displayed here so once everything is done so we can clear or delete that resource using terraform destroy command so basically terraform destroy will delete the resources which has built as part of this terraform apply process so once prompted type yes and then continue so that's it about a conditional statement i hope you enjoyed the learning thank you for watching this see you in the next video bye